sat down with pastors on the table. When they start talking, eh, you could feel that by the time they finish, their greatest regret is to marry. Hmm. Pastors, some of them great men. Don't ever be moved that, oh, let's welcome mommy. Mommy is a blessing. Sometimes it's not the way it is. <laughs> Truth is, sometimes they say it by faith that she will change. Or sometimes they don't want people to know. I know a pastor in a country that he came there speaking all this accolade about his wife. When he finished, it was a pastor's conference. They were praying. He finished, one pastor professor, Kida Baya Tosaya, say yes, the Lord. Because your wife trouble you, I'm taking her to heaven. The pastor is still alive. By the time they go to the wife, is dead. But the man, so they ask him, why do you speak all this thing? He said, but I can't come and speak that he, he tormented me. And he said, I'm saying it by faith that when he hear, you he change. <laughs> he troubled the man to go kill him, go kill him premature. Pastor, he knows it. As I said, those of you are you, you want to marry a pastor, but you don't have character. Do you know that when you marry a man that is anointed, you don't handle that way, you become an enemy to the anointing. Yeah. It is dangerous for your husband to be troubled. It can it have a long term effect. This is what you have to fear. Go to Moses. Go to the mountain and die. Where is his wife and children? Mm. Oh. I will show you the complication about when God anoints people. He told Miriam, "Are you not afraid to speak again, my servant?" He didn't say your dinner, brother. Mm. I'm telling you, I have seen pastors married break. The man survived. The woman is nowhere to be found. And the reason the man survived is anointing. So I know you want to marry a pastor. You are eyeing some of these prayer words. Do you have what it takes? Yeah. Do you have what it takes? Because when God anoints, you become possessive of them. And because anointing is on them, you have to be careful. David said, I will not touch God's anointing. Everything shows that David has a right to kill so I won't touch it. No. I will never touch him. If he's died, it will not come from me. Because the one that anointed me is the one that anointed me. If I'm in Canada, I will never be. So I can hear people say, oh no, demons has come to him. The spirit of God has left him. They will say, ah, go and kill him. Because the gift and the callings of God are without repentance. Be careful. These are things you study. Don't step into other people's troubles. I'm telling you. I have seen men of God and who married break. They are all over the world. The men are still preaching. Bishop Noel Jones, even one of the standing teachers, a uh, 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 emeritus church, Stanley, First Baptist, name them. Why didn't God punish them? You, I don't, some of them I've never heard about their wife. I don't know them, but the men are preaching. So keep praying that you want a pastor to marry with your disrespectful spirit. Where is Amiri Pantide? Daddy, no cry at the young man. Now, oh, daddy, no cry to me. Come, what's now? Daddy, no, what's my head? Oh, cry, my head. There are people, once we finish anointing service, they'll gossip about us yeah. on their way home. And I'll say, Watch it, Papa. I want somebody to marry one of my daughters and thank God. One guy met me at counter, gave me a thousand dollars, and he said, That's his wife. He has married before. Yes. It didn't work. He said, What makes you who you are? He said, my, I see the things my, my, my father and prophet are not taught me. But I want to. Oh, dear man, you can cry. Oh, sorry, I want to know. Only notebook. Oh, sorry, I want to know. He said, 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 since you marry, some of you are married here. Since you marry, what married book have you read? How many books do you read? It is not possible, my wife is here, for a day to go without reading a book. Hmm. Bishop James said that not all leaders are readers, but all readers are leaders. Yes. And I mean, I'm not leading. This girl here, you are his leader. Yeah. Whatever you are doing is what you copy. If you are a reader, you read. If you don't like reading, she won't read. This is the bottom line. So, at least if you don't have any congregation, your family is your congregation. Your children must see you reading. Yes, 